Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about the 17 ebooks that I ended up downloading last month in July. So all of these books I either downloaded for free or I got them off of Kindle Unlimited. So let's get started. The first book that I downloaded is Crave by Piper Lawson. This is still currently available to purchase for free. Ex-ballet dancer Olivia would never set foot in a club like Velvet, not to mention seize the stage. But when she learns her perfect boyfriend has been cheating, she indulges in a wild fantasy for the first time. From the moment Sawyer rescues her in the parking lot of the club, Olivia realizes he's what she's been missing. Um, the way he touches her sets her on fire. But one mistake becomes two when she learns Sawyer isn't only the passionate, mysterious man she stayed up all night with. He's her new professor. Ooh. <laughs> I then have a monster romance. This is Kelraz the Vicious, a paranormal monster romance by Carl Wilde. It's still available to download for free. When the orcs invaded the human dimension, no one could stop them. War raged for years and now the monstrous beasts have agreed to peace on two conditions. One, the human scientist scientists uh, must rebuild the machine that brought them to this world and two they must be provided with fertile brides to bear them orc babies sylvie has always believed in the saying be the change you want to see in the world that's why she volunteers to become a tribute and goes to one of the first institutes for orc brides to open in north america then the institute is attacked and an orc horde saves the young woman from a terrible fate the orc captain must be rewarded and sylvie ends up being his prize she's always known she'd be mated to an orc she just thought she'd have more time Kilras the vicious is a monster on the battlefield he spills his enemy's blood without remorse but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a code of honor. There's one thing he won't stand for, innocent females and children being hurt. On his way to the mountains, he hears the screams of the human females and swoops in to save, to save them. <laughs> As a reward, he can pick one of them. He picks Sylvie, the curvy green-eyed beauty who doesn't flinch at the sight of blood. Next is The Player I Love to Hate by Julian Quinn. This is still available to download for free. When my brother said he needed a place to crash, he forgot to mention Ethan Waters was part of the package. Broody and bossy, I hate my brother's best friend, an NHL teammate with a passion. Years ago, we hooked up behind my brother's back and then the cocky player disappeared. I still hate him for ditching me in the past. I don't care how good he looks in a towel or how skilled he is with his hands. But after a few angry kisses turn into the hottest night of my life, I can't get him out of my head. And if I'm not careful, Ethan will break my heart again. Then I have a novella. This is Heart of the Mountain by Frankie Love and C.M. Seabrook. This is still available to download for free. An angel. It's the worst rainstorm in history when I find her unconscious in the woods, sent from heaven. She's lost and alone, a newborn baby in her arms. I will protect them. My cabin is their shelter from the storm. Under my care, no one will hurt them, whatever the cost, but I'm not who she thinks I am. And if she finds out, she'll keep on running. My home is her home, my heart, her heart. And I sure as hell don't want to break it. Then I have Unhinged by Annalie James. I found this for free one day. Unfortunately, it's not free anymore, but it is on Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for, I believe, $4.99. Adam Mulvaney lives a double life. By day, he's the spoiled youngest son of an eccentric billionaire. By night, he's an unrepentant killer, one of seven psychopaths raised to right the wrongs of a justice system that keeps failing. Noah Holt has spent years dreaming of vengeance for the death of his father, but when faced with his killer, he learns a daunting truth he can't escape. His father was a monster. Unable to ignore his own surfacing memories, Noah embarks on the quest to find the truth about his childhood with the help of an unlikely ally, the very person who murdered his father. Since their confrontation, Adam is obsessed with Noah and he wants to help him uncover the answers he seeks. However, dark, they may be. The two share a mutual attraction, but deep down, no one knows Adam's not like other boys. Adam can't love, he wasn't born that way, but he refuses to let Noah go and Noah's not sure he wants him to. Can Adam prove to Noah that passion, power, and protection are just as good as love? Next is Take My Heart by Kylie Baldwin. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you purchase it for $2.99. Cardiologist Holly Whitt Whitaker. <laughs> Whitaker uh, wishes she could bypass the entire Christmas season and its painful memories. But when Holly learns that the free clinic has lost official funding, she's determined to think creatively, even if it means turning the Scroogeous doctor on staff, Jack Shea. The last thing Jack wants is to let Holly play online matchmaker for him as a fundraiser. Have the woman he's been in love with since medical school set him up with someone else? 
hard pass, except he has never been able to tell her no. When Holly's fundraising and matchmaking end up going awry, she scrambles to fix it before she loses everything, but it seems her heart has plans of its own. Next is Weaving Fate by Octavia Core. Um, this was a download off of Kindle Unlimited. Uh, you could do that or you could purchase it for $3.99. Growing up in the foster system taught Clara how to be resilient. She learned how to adapt to all sorts of situations, but she wasn't at all prepared for what life would throw at her. Alien abduction, painful experimentations, and the loss of her and the loss of her hearing are just the tip of the iceberg. Escaping her extraterrestrial captors should have been the end of her worries, but Clara finds herself a prisoner once more when she's taken by a terrifying beast in the forest. The alien she wakes up to is broody and distant, but it doesn't take long for her to uncover the possessive hungry male hidden within. The sacred vows he made as a child were supposed to last a lifetime. Being made a guardian means never taking a mate. So why does Zahir's guardian insist that this hideous little alien female belongs to him? Wanting her goes against everything the priests have taught him, but the harder he fights against the threads of their bond, the more tangled their web becomes. Zahir has more important things to worry about than fighting a battle of wills with his guardian, but when one of his pack members goes missing, he must decide where his loyalties lie. Next is The Devil to Pay by Casey Bateman. I downloaded this for free one day. It's not free anymore but you could purchase it for $2.99. Cara di Montessori has a price upon her head. Her traitorous uncle has murdered her father and seized her home. Her only hope of survival and of regaining her birthright is an alliance with her childhood nemesis, the infamous mercenary Diavolo, Diavolo? Diavolo. <laughs> the most irritating and seductive man Cara's ever met. Battle-hardened and world-weary Alessandro de Sarto has earned the subsequent Diavolo. He needs a politically expedient marriage to secure the lasting peace he craves. But the simpering ladies of court hold little interest. More than anything, he longs for a challenge. Headstrong beauty, Cara has always been Diavolo's only weakness, the only woman he's never been able to forget. When she appears at his door begging for help, the two strike a devil's bargain. In return for his assistance, for two weeks, Kara must entertain his guests, relieve his boredom, and warm his bed. Kara has no intention of succumbing to his studied seduction, but the passion that simmers between the two is more potent than her paper twists of gunpowder. Gun powder, not gunpowder. <laughs> Surrounded by danger and intrigue, she must choose between what she's always thought of as her destiny and what could be her greatest prize of all, her heart's desire. Next is Storm by Hattie Jacks. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. I thought I would die alone in the heap of floating space, junk orbiting a planet that's not Earth, but then he burst in through an airlock. And now I know two things. We are not alone and aliens are not little green men. They're hulking great wing predators with abs that go on forever and a penchant for hunting humans. My alien has to be the most gorgeous being I've ever seen. From the look of his dark eyes, he wants so much more than first contact. He wants to consume me. And for the first time in my life, I stop running. With any luck, I'm going to be lunch. Next, I have Soul Food by Michelle Gross. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $1.99. With no choice, a human bargains her soul for 10 years of music and song. With no time for anything beyond her dream, Ruth Thomas becomes a worldwide sensation, never knowing love or appreciating lust until she finally meets the mysterious president of Black Hearts, Amit Kingston. In a game of seduction, Ruth thinks she can enjoy a moment of lust, if only once, before the demon comes and devours her soul. Only the demon makes touching men impossible and getting Amit Kingston to crack is a job itself. The demon doesn't just own her soul. He controls every aspect of her life, including her fragile heart and her body's desires. Worst of all, Ruth doesn't realize how close the demon really is. I then downloaded for free Daddy Esquire by Olivia Fox. This is still available to download for free. This silver fox checks all my boxes. 27 years older, check. Classy, check. Commanding, check to the hell yes check the farming and ranching boys my age are okay for a roll in the hay but i'm looking for someone on a fet life who will discipline me and tell me i'm 
a good girl. <laughs> Someone like him, internet personalities are not always the way they seem. I learned that the hard way, but when I meet Arthur in real life, I discover he's everything his online pictures promised, and he's going to do more than just make me call him daddy. I then downloaded Broken Whispers off of Kindle Unlimited. This is by Neva Altaj. Um, this is the second book in the Perfectly Imperfect series. It's a mafia romance series. Mikhail, the Italian and Russian mafias are at war and it's brutal. We're both ruthless, relentless, and unforgiving. But then the decision is made to merge our worlds, a marriage between the two sides. The most beautiful woman of the Italian mafia and the Bratva's most feared monster. I loved her from afar for so long and I finally get to have her as my own. But will she run away when she realizes who I truly am? Bianca anything. I would do anything for my sister, even marry into the Bratva to keep her safe. I expected a vicious, cold-hearted savage, but I'm in for a surprise. The scarred, frightening man is everything I've ever wanted. Now it's up to me to break down his walls and destroy the barriers between us with broken whispers. I then downloaded Art and Soul by Brittany Cherry. I got this off of Kindle Unlimited. You could also purchase it for $3.99. I had always been the invisible art student in high school, passed by, glossed over, unnoticed. Now I was Aria Watson, that girl. After one bad decision, I was no longer unseen. I was the ignormous, ignamorous, ignamorous, <laughs> ignamorous, the tramp. I would never be invisible again, particularly to Levi Myers. He was the odd boy with the beautiful soul who accepted and understood the broken girl inside me. Falling in love wasn't the plan, but how could I resist his promises of hope, of forgiveness, of a future I'd stopped dreaming of? We were shattered, we were scarred, we were something strange and beautiful. We were two lost souls holding on to one thing that could keep us together each other. I then downloaded an anthology. This is the Dark Desires anthology with six modern retellings of timeless romance. Um, this was free. It is still free to download. The authors include Jill Ramsauer, Sky Warren, L.A. Cotton, Sophie Lark, Kay Webster, Nikki Ash, and Sierra Simone. I was mainly in it for the Sophie Lark one, but I'll try out the other ones too. <laughs> Next, I have Ballet Master by Cassie Mint. Um, this is available off of Kindle Unlimited. That's where I got it off of, or you can purchase it for 99 cents. He's a legendary dancer, a man of unmatched skill, and he won't stop staring at me. It's a huge opportunity when the famous dancer visits our class. I know that we were lucky, but it sure doesn't feel like that when I keep tripping and missing the music. I'm just so nervous, a jittery wreck, and every second his eyes stay on me, makes it worse. He doesn't bother watching the rest of the dancers. Only me. Am I really messing up that badly or does the older man with dark eyes want something from me? Something wicked. Next, I downloaded Come Back For Me, A Small Town Second Chance Romance by Corinna Michaels. Um, this is still available to download for free. One night, eight years ago, she gave me peace. No names, no promises, just two broken people desperate to quiet their pain and grief. In the morning, she was gone and had taken my solace with her. I left for the military that day, vowing never to return to this small town in Pennsylvania. When my father dies, I'm forced to go home to bury him. At least I'll finally be rid of this farm, which is grown over and tangled with memories I've fought to forget. That's when I find her. She's even more beautiful than I remember and has the most adorable kid I've ever seen. Years have passed, but my feelings are the same. And this time I refuse to let her go. They say you can't bury the past and they're right. But when long ago secrets are exposed, rocking us both to the core, I have no choice but to watch her walk away again. And the last book that I ended up downloading in July is Tattered Stars by Katherine Cowles. This is still available to download for free. It took every ounce of courage to return to my small town. I fled it all those years ago, but I should have known he'd hate me. How could he not when my father's blood still run through, runs through my veins? Yet here I am, desperate for a chance to make things right, even if it means facing the family my father almost destroyed and the boy with the dark eyes, now grown, who still haunts my dreams. I never expected just how explosive things would turn between us. He's the last person I should ever want. Yet, somehow, I keep drawing closer, so close I'll know I end up burned. But Hayes is a good man, a noble one, someone who channeled his pain into a career spent protecting those around him. So when the threat begins, he steps in to keep me safe and we discover that maybe neither of us knew the other at all. As sparks between us ignite into something deeper, someone watches and I'll do anything to tear us apart. So there you have it. Those are all of the eBooks that I ended up downloading in the month of July. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any electronic device emoji down below 
below in the comment section. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching and we'll see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.